Hi, everybody. Brian Bross from DallasCowboys.com, and welcome to the Academy Sports and Outdoors Film Room. Well, the Dallas Cowboys move on to defeat the Miami Dolphins and uh, get the record to 3-0. I want to take a look at a couple of plays that I thought were key in this football game. And, you know, there's not many plays in the playbook that you can call on third down and 20 and expect to make. Uh, Kellen Moore's done a nice job of calling plays, but probably had to reach uh, deep, deep into the playbook to try and pull one here. But get a nice play, though, from his uh, his uh, Hall of Fame tight end and then his quarterback as well. I thought that the Cowboys were going to make some plays in the passing game with their tight ends. If you watch the Cowboys, our pregame show yesterday, I talked about, though, that I thought Blake Jarwin would be the guy. But it was Jason Witten that came up with a couple big plays. And this one was an exceptionally big play. And I want to kind of walk you through what happened. As, as we're going to run the play forward here, the Dolphins really make a huge tactical mistake here. And as I run the play for you forward, I want to show you that on third and 20, what you really want to do is you want to find a way to get, just let the, let the completion happen and then rally to the football. Look what's going on down the field right here. Okay, the routes are starting to develop. The protection is a little spotty. They have a little problems right here. Look, look, what, look what's going on in the middle here. I'm going to show you right here real quick. We're going to get the twist stunt inside here, and that's going to cause Dak Prescott to have to flush all the way to the outside here. Now, they've got Witten. They've got Witten right here trying to help, actually helping on Taco Charlton right there to try and get a little bit of a block to see if they could get some of these routes down the field open. Let's go as we run. See right there. Okay, Prescott just does not like what he sees in this route. Okay, gets the pressure in his face. Now he's to the outside. Now he's talking about running. Now we're looking at third and 20 and potentially running. Okay, Witten at this point has now, has now, okay, Witten at this point has, has checked out. He's, he's helped as best he could. Prescott's now on the move, and you're thinking that maybe Prescott's just going to run. Here come the Dolphin defenders to try and make the play. They're thinking like, okay, if Prescott breaks outside the pocket, then we're going to rally up into this point right here and make the tackle and get off the field on defense. But nice job by, okay, just pointing out to you, look at, look at Prescott. He's directed traffic downfield. He's getting close. He kind of sees all this space right here. And he's going to shoot a look right there at the sticks. He's going to shoot a look right at that marker to make sure that he throws this ball behind the line of scrimmage. Great awareness on his part of seeing where the marker was, seeing what's going on with these, these Dolphin defenders, and then Witten being smart as he comes up the sideline right there. So a lot of things, everything down here, I mean, is just, that stuff that he, those are throws that he just probably does not want to make. I mean, after he'd thrown that interception that went back to the middle of the field, he was not interested in making that throw again. So I'm going to run it for you forward here. Look at Witten. Look at Witten staying active. Prescott shoots the glance to the sand, shoots that quick little glance to where the marker is. Now I'm going to stop it right there. Great job by him. Again, awareness. He's going to stay behind that marker. Witten is going to stay along the sidelines, but great job by himself of not stepping back off this field right here. That would have been real easy for Jason Witten to lose track where he was on the field and step back. Here's the mistakes right here, that commit right there. Instead of staying with Witten, all of a sudden now the ball is going to be over the top with all this space to deal with. So really bad job by the Dolphins of not just letting Prescott maybe run out of bounds and then rally to him. They commit, which allowed Witten to come up the field, and now you're going to see the throw. Right over the top, great job by Witten adjusting right there. Notice him, field awareness, awareness from your quarterback to lob the ball to Witten. Great job right there to make the play and get the first down. Okay, now I want to focus in on the defensive play that I thought was really key. And we were, we were looking at, at this all week long about Robert Quinn and how many plays would Robert Quinn 
uh, go in this football game. Uh, you know, there was, uh, hey, is he on a pitch count? Is it 25, 30 plays? How many plays was Robert Quinn going to play in this football game? Actually played 45 plays in this game. And so that's a, a credit to him for the conditioning that he had coming in, missing the two weeks, the first two weeks of the season because of suspension. But good job of him coming in here and making some plays. And I want to focus in on his sack in this game. And really, all this entire game, Robert Quinn did a, a, a great job of rushing the passer. I, the the get-off, the first-step quickness, the attack in the edge, how he was able to sharpen the course. I wrote about this particular play in, in my uh, scout's eye. And it's, it's, it's very reminiscent of the type of play that you see when they work against the bags out here of how you – Get, you slap hands on the bag or slap the bag, work around, flatten to the quarterback, and then get to the ball and attack the ball. Watch right here. Here's Robert Quinn. He's all the way here on the outside here. And here's Dieter, the, 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 the tackle who was a guard, who started the game at guard. He's in a bad situation here because of all this space. Now, Quinn is wider because of the tight end being right there. But that still, that gives him so much room to operate right here. Now, you're gonna get some things inside here, as I point out, when I run this play forward. All right, they're trying to identify again. They're identifying the Mike linebacker. They're gonna get the quick snap. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right. I'm gonna run it back just for a little bit here, and I'm gonna stop it right there. Okay, look at all this is going on. All these Miami blockers are all wadded up in there because of the Jalen Smith, Lawrence. We remember last week how Lawrence was able to get uh, Tyrone Crawford home. Here comes around Malik Collins on the outside. But what does that mean? That puts Dieter on one-on-one -on -one right there with Robert Quinn. And Robert Quinn does a great job of attacking that edge. Look at him. Look at him come around, how wide he is. And now he is on that blocker. Uh, Dieter is right there. Look at that. Dieter has no chance to get over to him. No chance at all. He's got the corner. He is screaming low by, look at this, look at this right here. Look how low, that hand, he doesn't even need to use that hand because he is so low to the ground and all the way to the corner. And again, all this mess right here is, got, is, is, is taking away from, from Josh Rose. He's trying to look downfield, but all this is happening in front of him. Now you got this low shoulder run all the way to the ball. So watch, here we go again, we're running for you. Look at that, look at that, how Quinn, and he's going to try and attack. If, if, if Rosen had thrown that ball or tried to throw that ball, taking it back, boy, I tell you what, Robert Quinn would have been right there to knock the ball loose, and possibly you would have had Malik Collins standing right there to get a sack. So great job again by Robert Quinn, totally being that wide nine technique, screaming off the edge, and then getting right on top of Josh Rose. That, that's, again, once again, the Cowboys doing a great job of making this, making these plays when they're using twist stunts. Like something I talked about again in my uh, final thoughts on Friday is they had problems with the twist stunts up front. And so they took advantage of that, but then Robert Quinn, again, screaming off that backside, making a big time play. This pass rush will benefit from him being there. You got Lawrence on one side, him on the other. Teams are going to have to figure out how to, to block both of these guys as they go forward. So again, Hope you enjoyed these plays. I love bringing them to you every week here in the film room uh, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Uh, again, I thank you, and I will see you next week with uh, some more plays next week as the Cowboys travel to New Orleans to face the Saints on Sunday Night Football.